Hello, welcome to another Maxi Jean video. Uh, I'm trying out something new today. A few people will probably be uh, familiar with it. There you have just your regular type of thermal paste because I'm putting together my EK Supreme High Flow Water Block. Now, everyone's used to this your basic paste and you squeeze it out to the CPU and all the rest. But today, I'm trying out something totally different. It's called Indigo Extreme. You'll actually be surprised. For those who haven't really seen this before, probably the priciest option when it comes to uh, heat transfer application of um, whatever type. Let's go ahead and see what's in the box. Now, they've taken this really seriously. Get your gloves there to keep greases and all that type of stuff away. And open this up. Now, before I tell you the price, I'm going to show you what it is. Get your cleaning cloth there, or your drying cloth, and you get your um, that's your cleaning solvent. It's a wipe, so you've got two applications. You've also got two applications of this. That's one. I'll pull the other one away, which is still in the packet. That's it there. It's basically just a sticker, which you stick onto the CPU. You line the blue part up, and you set that on the motherboard. Then you peel it away. All you're left with is um, the basically the the heat transfer stuff itself. Now, there's no applying, you just put it on. There's no um, worries about grease or anything like that. And apparently this has two to three degrees better performance than the best thermal compound on the market. So here we have uh, the CPU installed there. We're gonna take the solvent wipe. Just open that up. These are the gloves that are supplied with it. Just to ensure that we remain um, grease free kind of smells like a KFC wipe there a bit more stronger though <laughs> it smells like thinners a bit you could get high on this stuff so you gotta be careful so now we'll just focus on to where we're working on the CPU we'll just um, give that a good clean so there's a bit of stuff that comes off it here we have the water block, just turned it upside down. We'll just remove the cover there. Showing the beautiful, beautifully lapped and polished copper plate. Now I'll just take the other cloth here, it's just to dry it off. I want to have that solvent stuff on it. Indigo Extreme is a thermal interface that fits nearly neatly between the CPU lid and the heat sink or water block to keep the CPUs cooler. All right, it says here, unlike greases, metallic thermal interface pads or liquid metal alloys is a self-contained and sealed structure deploying a phase change metallic alloy which reflows and fills the surface defects on the CPU lid and heatsink. The resultant interfacial layer is avoid-free and robust with low thermal contact and bulk resistance. Really, really cool stuff. Anyway, page two. So I've got my gloves on. You can see there the instructions. So we'll just, if we can just get out of the light, you can see there the sticker which goes on to the um, motherboard there, showing the CPU socket. And basically, all we want exposed, we want that sort of horseshoe-looking thing sitting, touching the CPU, which is what I'm going to go ahead and do now. So basically now, just as I showed you guys, we want to sit that carefully on top. So it's covering. Oh, I've played it there. It gives you a little blue guideline. It looks a bit tricky. There's a little blue guideline that's the size of the CPU exactly. So you can just line that up. And it says ensure that the blue part is touching the, the cover. The CPU bracket closes over it. See that? As part of installation, the Indigo Extreme ETI must first be heated with the CPU running under load in order to reflow and melt the PCMA, which is the stuff that flows into all the little gaps and uh, imperfections in both the uh, water block and CPU. Now I couldn't really record this process because I was pretty nervous. Uh, 
they're only $12 each, but you only get two in a packet and you can't, you know, reorder the stuff or pick it up every time. So you want to get it right first shot. And here's a specialty item. I suppose if you're spending a lot on your system, you don't mind doing things like this, but putting it on, I was like trying to push the heatsink on straight, holding it with two hands so it touches at the same time, then putting the, the screws on at the same time and the springs. And Luckily, um, I didn't have to remove the motherboard because I've still got the, the old EK fittings, which are the same. Pretty much give it a shot straight away. You can see they're straight away sucking all the water out. Look at that. Everything seems to be running fine now. Just focusing on the G19. You can see my little CPU usage indicator maxed out on 100%. You can check it out 100%. You can't even see the line. It's maxed out to the top. So basically peaking on every single um, thread. Let's close this up. Titre is still busy at work. Check that out. 12 threads maxed out 100%. Alright, and that's how many CPU burnings I had to run at the same time to get it to 100%. It's getting more and more every time. You can see the CPU running at 40 degrees, don't forget, 100% usage, 40 degrees Celsius, and that's overclocked to 4 gigahertz, 1.27 voltage, and you can see the cores on the right there, six of them, um, one at 35, one at 57. I'm not sure about the variation, I've been asking a lot on the forum, no one's gotten back to me about what each core should be running out, but still, not, not hitting over 57 degrees, which is awesome for a 4 gigahertz overclock. I'm going to go ahead later on and push it a bit more in the, the next video. Very happy with this stuff. Some of the best results I've ever got. Uh, just to mention, before I put this stuff, I, I was getting into the 70s, believe it or not. So I'm not sure if it's the... Well, it's a combination of the high flow water block, the, um, the Indigo Extreme thermal stuff, Alright, I've dropped about, well, 70, 13 degrees with um, two things changed. I'm very happy now. Go ahead and push this thing to the max. If there are any questions, you can ask me on the forum or check out the website for some uh, detailed pictures of some of the installations.